Hey Simon, this is your golf lesson reminder video. The first thing I went through is a way of you shooting lower scores without actually having to practice anymore, which is the re-plan do check that I mentioned. In the email, I'll send in all the questions to you so you can try and build that habit so that when you get to the ball, you do your reading first, then your planning of what club, what target, what technique. You stand up your doing part, and then you check afterwards about what worked, maybe what you might like to do differently next time. So that's going to help you with your scoring. In terms of your technique today, the first thing we went through, you want to come in really close here, and we'll have a look at your grip. When you first took your grip, we noticed that you had it right up in the palm of your hand there, not really in these fingers. And what's happening is as the club gets to the top of your backswing, this leverage point, your thumb here, gets the club going like that because the club wants to keep going this way thumb acts as a lever and it keeps sliding up that's why you're wearing your gloves out here so what we got to do is we've got to get the club in our fingers to begin with and the way to do that is by having this club straight up in the air the grooves and the club face are pointing straight over my head and I've got the club right in my fingers there right from the word go then you can come down to the ball it'll feel a little weird to begin with but over time that's going to be stopping that club from moving around in the middle of your backswing so that's a really good one Another one with your stance was you're getting pretty narrow, which was reducing your ability to turn and really get a lot of power, so you could go a little bit wider. And then one of the other things, after you've hit the shot, today we were, you were hitting quite a few cut shots, what I want you to do is to say, right, what did the club just do to the ball? So for there with a big cut shot, it's obvious the club face was very open to the park. So what you want to do is come down and go, okay, what do I want instead of that? If you want to hit a hook, okay, I've got to be turning the club face over or I've got to have it square. The most important thing is that you feel the difference between them so you're trying to mimic impact. First thing is what must the club have just done to the ball, next thing is what do I want to do on the next one and then you can go back through your whole process again and away you go. So if you can build those habits in your game over the next few weeks and months you're going to see your scores coming down in a big way and everything will be going.